Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. Um, I've been out and about today and I have picked up some beer from Morrison's. And the beer in question, or one of them, is this stuff. Eskimo's Kiss. This is from the, the Y Valley um, Brewery, which is based in Herefordshire. Up there in the uh, middle west of England on the border with Wales. Um, I'm just looking at the ingredients. They've done quite a good job here of listing what's in the uh, what's in the beer. It's a it's a winter warming ale, and believe me, it is freezing out there. It is the middle of January, and it is very cold out there. This is a 4.4% volume um, beer. It's a 500 milliliter bottle, so it's roughly about a pint. Um, the ingredients that they've put in here, the um, they list the um, the malts, and there's a hell of a lot of malt in here, different types. You've got um, you've got the extra pale Maris Otter malts, which are really good for this type of beer. Um, you've got Munich malts, which I imagine is like the base malt because they're just like the pills and the malts. Um, you've got amber and crystal malts as well. The amber and crystal are just, I think, as far as I know, the crystal malt certainly is just the level of um, how much the, the, the malts have been roasted. Um, the crystal malts give um, like a crunchy texture because the sugar in the malt it sort of solidifies and it gives it a nice texture um, and they're using a, a new hop variety called Olicana which is grown in Herefordshire so it's a local hop to them which I think is brilliant um, they're saying to serve it slightly chilled this is very slightly chilled but it's probably not as chilled as I'd imagine they wanted to but I'm hoping I'm going to get more flavour out of that uh, because it's that little bit slightly warmer um, there's the cap not a bad cap, Y Valley Brewery. Um, there's the bottle, here's the label. Eskimos Kiss. Not seen this before. This is a, definitely a new one on me. There's the back, it's got all the ingredients on there. If you want to pause that, if you want on your YouTube and just give that a little bit of a read. What are we getting? Definitely some malt there. Yeah, some sweet malt. Caramel malt. And um, there's some hops there as well. And fruit. Like dark fruit. But let's get in the glass. Let's see what's going on there. You notice I'm wearing a new pair of glasses. I found these, um, I bought them ages ago, and the dog must have run off with them, because I found them down the back of the sofa. So I'm wearing these now, these are uh, bifocals, so I can actually see what's on the label and I don't have to get, do the Mr. Magoo impression. Anyway, there it is in the glass. Um, it's a dark amber color. Um, it's got light levels of carbonation, very, very short head, half finger head. Oh yeah, definitely getting some of that malt there. Let's give it a go, let's get it down the hatch and see what's going on. Percy smelt the malt, didn't ya? Not bad, there's definitely, I can get them malts in there. Different varieties of malts. Um, caramel. 
little tiny bit of toffee, but more caramel than anything else. There's fruit in there as well. Um, I'm just, it doesn't stand out as being amazing. It's not bad. It's not bad. There's everything there I would expect. Um, I think it's a bit of a push calling it a winter ale. <clears throat> I'd class this more as a not a not a bitter, but like a, just a standard ale. Start getting fruits now. Get like dark berries, like damson or something like that. What do they say it is on the back? Um, yeah, there's definitely got the bit, the bitter finish that they're talking about. This is also bottle conditions. They're saying to leave the sediment in in the bottom. I didn't see any sediment in there, and I don't think there's any. Is there any? Well, there may be tiny little bits of sediment. But they're saying leave the sediment in the bowl, which I don't care. I'd rather pour that into the glass and taste, because that would probably be the yeast. Um, it's growing on me. He said there's aromas uh, delivering the flavours and aromas of mango and passion fruit. Well, I'm not getting mango and passion fruit. I'm getting darker type fruits. bad I mean it sounds like I'm being harsh but it isn't bad um, I'd question why a winter warmer ale needs to be chilled but yeah it's okay I'd give that I'd give that a six and a half to a seven out of ten would I recommend it yeah I'd, I'd say if you, if you see it give it a go you might like it there's no surprises in it put it that way it's very, um, you know, bog standard, run of the mill, no surprise ale. Nothing bad about it, but nothing that jumps out and makes me want to keep drinking it. It's not, for me anyway, it's not got that Moorishness that you get from some of the, some of the malts sometimes. Um, yeah, not, not a bad effort. I, you know, <laughs> I sound like I'm being harsh, but I'm, it's good, it's okay, it's good. I don't mind it. And remember, beer is working class champagne.